Good afternoon, guys. How are you today? Good afternoon, teacher. Welcome to your English class. Let me share with you the class presentation for this class. Okay. Welcome to your class number 10. Yes, it means that we are missing only 10 more classes. And then you will be finished course number one. How do you feel? ¿Cómo se sienten que ya casi terminan? The first module. <laughs> no están contentos. Sí, sí, felices. <laughs> okay, so let me show you that today we're going to have three topics. The first topic is who's then uh, yesterday we we were learning about the possessive possessive pronouns possessive adjectives today we are gonna learn about the use of whose also vocabulary about the seasons and the present progressive what day is today karen when is march 9 20 2022, yes, thank you, Karen Sanchez. <laughs> I always forget that we have two Karens. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday, March 9. So let's begin with the lesson objectives. I oh, see Karen Vieras, please, the three objectives. In the class, you will learn how to use possessive in the order to describe belonging of things. Yes, lesson objective two. Yes, the three objectives. <laughs> okay, in the class you will become familiar with the with their season. Mm -hmm. Objective three, with the end of the class, you will be able to form statements. Using the present continuous. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to start because we have a lot of topics today. We're going to start with the possessive pronouns. Yesterday, we were learning about it, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. So today, we're going to study this part when we can use the names of people in the apostrophe to say that something belongs to someone, para decir que algo eh, le pertenece a alguien. Por ejemplo, in, in these examples, we have Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. Si se fijan, tenemos el nombre de Pat, apostrophe, no tilde, ¿verdad? sino el apostrophe, El apóstrofo en español, bueno, al menos en mi, en mi teclado, en my keyboard, it's in the question mark. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí lo tengo. And then we add the S y agregamos la S. Tenemos Julie's jeans, igual, está Julie, el apóstrofe y la S. Rex t-shirt, Rex, apóstrofe S. ¿Y qué significa Pat's blouse? Pat's blouse significa la blusa de Pat. Los jeans de Julie. La camiseta de Rex. Entonces usamos, me imagino que ya lo han visto antes, pero usamos el apóstrofe y la S para indicar, y se lo ponemos al nombre, ¿verdad? O de quién pertenece, al, al dueño del objeto. Le ponemos el apóstrofe y la S y luego el objeto. E y... Para preguntar, lo hacemos con whose. La pregunta es whose. Whose blouse is this? ¿De quién es esta blusa? Whose blouse is this? Whose, el objeto, el verbo to be, y this. Whose blouse is this? It's Pat's. Este Pat. Whose jeans are these? 
en plural, ¿verdad? Are these. ¿De quién son estos jeans? Whose jeans are these? They are, oops, sorry. They are Julie's. They are Julie's. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at more examples in the next slide. Vale, aquí tenemos. Whose, the noun or the object plus is it in singular. Whose plus the noun, the noun in plural, plus are they? <coughs> examples. Whose pen is it? In singular. It is my pen. ¿Qué otra respuesta podríamos dar aquí? En vez de it is my pen. ¿De acuerdo a lo que aprendimos ayer? También podríamos decir it's it is teachers teacher pen. Bueno, aquí en el ejemplo, vea, whose pen is it? It is my pen. It is mine. It is mine. Ajá. ¿Es mi lapicero? Es mío. It's mine. Ajá. Whose pen is it? It is mine. ¿Eh? Whose pencils are they? In plural. They are my pencils. O podemos decir, they are mine. They are mine. Ahora bien, digamos que no es mío, sino que es de alguien más. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si es de alguien más, digamos que es de Ernesto, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo tendríamos que ponerle? Bueno, vamos a ver. ¿Cómo sería si es de Ernesto? It is Ernesto Pen. It is Ernesto's. Solo eso. Vamos a ver si puedo escribir aquí, vea. Whose pen is it? Entonces, yo digo... It is, or it's, Ernesto's. Después de Ernesto, I put the apostrophe and the S. It is Ernesto's. Bien. Easy, right? ¿Verdad que no cuesta? It's easy. <laughs> it is Ernesto's. Ahora bien, este es en singular. Y en plural, whose pencils are they? Are they? Entonces, ¿qué voy a, ¿cómo voy a empezar? They're Ernesto. They, ajá. They're, they're, no, no son de Ernesto. They are not Ernestos. They are Karens, ¿ok? Entonces, they are Karens. Whose pencils are they? They are Karens. Mm -hmm. They are Karens. Okay, so maybe you are copying the examples. You're taking notes of the example. I can send you the presentation later too. Okay, I have more examples in the next slide. No sé si ya puedo pasar a la siguiente. Yes. Okay, the next one. Bye. Ahora en la siguiente diapositiva, miren, tenemos más ejemplos con who's usando el apóstrofe. Por ejemplo, whose book is this? Vamos a ver. Whose book is this? Whose book is this? Ay, no sé si ven. Whose book is this? Whose book is this? Yo les pregunto a ustedes. Yours. Book okay. Is this? Ustedes, yours. we can have different answers. For example, you can say, you can say, right. Uh, you can say, it's. The teachers, you can say it's the teachers, it's the teachers, oh, ustedes me dicen, verdad, me? It's hers, 
¿verdad? Es de ella, es de la teacher. It's the teachers, it's hers. O it's Rocío's. Right, if you want to mention my name, but my name, mira, tilde. Yes, tilde. I. It's the teachers, it's hers, or it's Rosie. And we have more examples. Uh, let's see, Mr. Sanchez, would you like to read the, this example? Whose car are you driving? Whose car are you driving? It's the company's car. It's not my car. <laughs> it's the company's the company car. car. Uh -huh. And whose dog is that? It's my mom's dog. It's my mom's dog. Entonces, para eso se ocupa el apóstrofe y la S. No sé si ya sabían de eso antes. How much? A little bit. A little, okay. a little bit. Yes. Okay. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si, por ejemplo, el dueño de algo son varias personas y no solamente una? Por ejemplo, digamos una casa. Se lo voy a escribir en el chat. Por ejemplo, whose house is, is that one? ¿De quién es esa casa? Whose house is that one? Whose house is that one? Entonces, ustedes pueden decir, it's, eh, por ejemplo, bueno, it's María en José. It's María en José. Entonces, lo ponemos en el último, it's María en José. Or it's theirs, ¿verdad? Si ya sabemos de quién estamos hablando. Si hablamos, por ejemplo, de bicicleta, whose bikes are these? ¿De quién son estas bicicletas? Whose bikes are these? Entonces decimos, their, their, the students, por ejemplo, los alumnos, ¿verdad? They are the students. Si se fijan, ¿a dónde va la apóstrofe en este caso? They are the students. Después de la S. Exacto. ¿Por qué? Porque students es plural. Muy bien. Y ya lleva la S, ¿verdad? Ya lleva la S, students. Entonces solo le ponemos una S más. They are the students. Solo le ponemos, perdón, no le ponemos S, solo le ponemos, le ponemos el apóstrofe. Solo le ponemos el apóstrofe. Igual, por ejemplo, si alguien cuyo nombre termina con S, por ejemplo, Carlos. I will ask, whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone? Whose cell phone? Yes. ¿De quién es ese celular? Entonces yo, yo digo, vea, it's Carlos. Como Carlos ya lleva la S, solo le pongo la apóstrofe. It's Carlos. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Muy bien. Les voy a enviar, chicos, el, el enlace a un ejercicio para que puedan practicar un poquito sobre esto. Sé que esto, pues ahí con el tiempo lo van a ir, eh, lo van a ir a, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, internalizando, ¿verdad? Lo van a ir practicando y lo van a poder eh, hacer mejor. Pero igual, les mando ahorita el ejercicio. Para que lo hagamos ahorita y veamos qué tal. ¿Alguna duda? ¿La hacemos juntos? ¿Con Jus? Comparto pantalla. ¿Ya están? ¿Ya entraron a la página del ejercicio? Igual les comparto pantalla, pero espero que ustedes lo hagan primero, ¿verdad? Jus Umbrella is that? Es el ejemplo, that is Tina's umbrella. That is Tina's umbrella. Number two, whose guitar is that? Pueden decir, ajá, that is, siguiendo el ejemplo, that is 
Mary's that is... guitar. Vean el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Follow the example. Follow the example. El ejemplo que les da el ejercicio. Que el mundo lo que tiene que hacer como jefe. ¿Ah? <risa> ok. Vale, hagamos el ejercicio, trabajamos ahí y... <coughs> Bueno, me avisan. Ok. Pajaritos. <laughs> Someone has some parrots or birds. Yeah, because it's not here. It's not here. <laughs> Okay, who can give me the first? Eh, bueno, ya se les había dicho, vea. That's, that is, that is Mary's guitar. Okay, number three, whose cake is that? That is, ¿quién me ayuda? That is Betty's cake. Whose eyes are those? Those are, those are the owl, oh, those are an owl's eyes. An owl's eyes. Whose kite is that? That is Carol's. Carol's kite. Whose band is that? That is my father's band. Mm -hmm. That is my father's band. Good. So then you check, finished? Check my answers. Oops. Okay, I don't know what happened here. That is. I know, me, but me pasó a mí. Say de esta comer. Yeah, whose eyes are those? Those are an owl's eyes, but it's correct. <laughs> and that's my. That is my father's fan. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make it again. Let's try with those ones. I'm sorry. Those are owls. Okay, those are the owls' eyes. Es que aquí tiene que escribir exactamente. <laughs> and that is that is father's man. No, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the uh, those are only owl's eyes. Owl's eyes? And that is father's man. Yeah, now it's correct. <laughs> Those are owls, owls' eyes, in el an, and that is father's band, in el my, but I still want to say my father. Miss. 
means what is a hit hit the kite kite is this why you uh in october the children uh, they fly kites in october Picucha. right La piscucha. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So that was the exercise. I hope you finished the exercise. Now, oh, somebody got 10. Excellent. Let's continue with the rest of the presentation. Yeah. So do you have any questions about the use of who's? I hope no questions. I see a lot of question marks. I see me. a lot of question marks. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the next. The vocabulary we are gonna learn today is the weather or the seasons. The seasons, what are the seasons? We have a spring, summer, fall and winter. Some countries around the world have the four seasons, but in our country, El Salvador, we only have two seasons. Which seasons do we have? What are the seasons that we have? In El Summer and spring. Spring. We have summer and winter. winter and winter. Yes, but our winter, winter is different. We don't have the snow, we only have the rain. Yeah, so look at this picture. It's a spring in Brazil. It's warm and it's very sunny. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a little strange here, but it says in Korea, it's, it's raining, it's hot and humid. <laughs> Very strange. Okay, and we have it's fall in the US. Fall is um, otoño. It's cool, it's cloudy and windy. There is another word for fall in English that men use an open. No sé si ya lo habían visto. Autumn. Autumn. Es. No. No. Ah, bueno. Pero ese es otoño. O, or fall. Fall or autumn. Ok. It's cool. It's cloudy. Nublado. And windy. Hay mucho viento. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. No. Está nevando. It's very cold. It's very cold. Actually, if you see pictures of people in on Ukraine in this moment, the people are, it's very, you can see that the weather is cold and people are wearing coats, um, jackets, sweaters, scarf, gloves, boots, because it's very cold. Okay, you can see in the next picture, you can see winter, the winter in our country, it's only the rain, the spring where you can see the flowers, you can hear the, 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 the birds singing, the summer you go to the beach because um, uh, it's very hot. And we have autumn or fall. Autumn, I mean, I meant autumn, A U T U. Karen, yes, do you have a question? Sí, teacher, no me quedó claro cómo, cómo, si hay una diferencia entre invierno donde hay nieve e invierno aquí como cuando solo llueve. Solo es, se dice igual, invierno, winter. Ajá, sé que puede ser diferente en cada país, vea, pero se dice igual, winter. Invierno es winter, es spring, primavera. Summer, verano, and autumn, otoño, o también se puede decir fall, como estaba en la picture, in the previous picture. And 
Uh, we have typical vocabulary associated with each season. For example, cold days in winter. Podemos decir cold days, días muy helados. Cold, en realidad, es así como temperaturas, temperaturas bien bajas. Aquí quizás en nuestro país, como es un país tropical, casi que se va a usar cool. It's cool, está fresco. Pero está de lado es que usted ya, ya tiembla un poquito el frío. ¿verdad? And you need a sweater. Snow, nieve, rain, lluvia, umbrella. You need an umbrella when it's raining. La sombría, ¿verdad? Gloves. A scarf. Eh, skiing is eh, the activity that people go skiing in the snow, esquiar, and hot drinks. When it's cold, you need hot drinks like coffee, chocolate, hot chocolate, right? Uh, vocabulary for spring, warm days, días más cálidos, eh, flowers, butterflies, nests, son los nidos, rainbows, eh, la coiris, gardening, eh, la jardinería, allergies, the spring, baby animals. Eh, for the summer, we have hot days, días calientes, hot days, the beach, la playa, vacation, vacaciones, camping, acampar, ice cream, helado, sunglasses. Sunscreen to protect your screen to your skin and swimming pool. That's piscina, swimming pool. In uh, autumn, we have cool days, días frescos, leaves fall, las hojas que caen, wind, el viento, harvest, la cosecha. Rake es el instrumento que se usa para barrer las hojas, ¿verdad? El rastrillo. Um, Acorns, clouds, and pumpkins. Clouds, las nubes. Pumpkins son las calabazas, ¿verdad? Que en Estados Unidos this, uh, is like in November. And, um, and people uh, make pumpkin pies. Or they use the pumpkin to make... Um, the Halloween. And acorn se refiere a las bellotas. Bueno, casi no las vemos acá, verdad? But, but in, um, in other countries, they do. A ver, eh, ¿en qué estación estamos ahorita? In which season are we in this moment in our country? Spring. Spring. Are you sure? Summer. Yes. Summer. Summer. We are in the summer. Yeah, we are in the summer. Hot days. Yeah, people go to the beach. You will have vacation very soon, next month. And yeah, we like to eat high ice cream. Well, I um I like this season because there is a lot of fruits like cocotes, mangoes, cashews, marañones, cashews, eh, coconuts. Yeah, so it's very nice. Eh, watermelon, melons. Yeah, so it's a very nice. Beers. <laughs> for people, for, okay, we have cold drinks. You can have cold drinks like Coca Cola or or others. <laughs> mango fruit, mango juice. Well, people who like drinking, people who like drinking beers, right? Okay, so now, guys, we have a conversation here. It's very cold between Pat and Julie. So I will read the conversation for you. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm. 
and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Yuli. So what's the matter? What's the matter means what's the problem? What's the matter? What's the problem? It's snowing, está nevando, and it's very cold, está muy helado. Are you wearing your clothes? Estás usando tus, tus guantes? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm. So what I want you to do in this moment is to um, take a look at these sentences. It's snowing, are you wearing? You are wearing, I'm not wearing. These sentences are in the present progressive or present continuous statements. For example, we form the present continuous with the verb to be and the verb in the ing form. So we say am or am in negative, I'm not, and then wearing. You are or you aren't wearing boots. She's wearing shoes or she's not wearing boots. We're or we're not uh, wearing boots. They are or they are not or they aren't wearing boots. It's a snowing, it's not a snowing, it isn't raining. We have some conjunctions here. The conjunctions is and and but. It's snowing and it's very cold. Para añadir una otra idea, está nevando y está, está muy helado. It's snowing and it's very cold. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Para mostrar un contraste, ¿verdad? We use but in Spanish, pero. Estoy usando un, un coat. Ay, se me ha olvidado cómo se llama esa. El coat is like a jacket, a long jacket. Pero... No estoy usando botas, but... Una capa. Um, a coat, I think there is another word for coat. Coat, una capa. Sobre todo. Ajá, sí, un sobre todo. Uh -huh. Algo así. <ríe> ok. An overcoat es como una capa, el overcoat. But the coat is un sobre todo, mm -hmm. un abrigo, un abrigo. Okay, so um, look at the next picture. We have here the formula or the grammar structure. The subject, the verb to be, que puede ser am, is, or are. And the verb in the ing form and the complement. No, no he dicho nada. And we make some examples. Vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos. Ay, espérame, se me fue la pantalla. Ahorita las pongo. Saúl. Bye. Por ejemplo, eh, we use the present continuous to express or to say what we are doing in the moment. Lo que está pasando en el momento. What's happening in this moment. Right now. Esas son las expresiones que usualmente hacemos. Today, right now, now, in this moment. Because it's something that is happening in this moment, right now. So let's, uh, let's write some examples. I am, what am I doing in this moment? I am teaching. Studying. Okay, you are. You are studying, learning. studying and learning about the present progressive or the present continuous. The present continuous. Okay. I am teaching. You are studying and learning. I am teaching an online class. Para ponerle un complemento. I'm teaching an online class. You are studying and learning about the present continuous. Vamos a poner un he. For example, my husband is working in this moment. Uh, my mom is cooking. 
my mom is cooking in the lunch. Um, let's say. In example, it's not raining right now. No, está lloviendo, verdad? It is not raining right now. Another example. I'm sorry, somebody has the. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, the other example, we are, what are we doing? We are using, we are using a computer, let's say, or cell phone to, to have the class, right? Um, you are listening to the teacher or you are paying attention to the teacher. And um, they, vamos a ver de quién podemos hablar. The children. The children are uh, studying in the school. Okay, very nice. So these are examples that you can copy. You can take notes of these examples, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing, Ernesto? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I am teaching, I am teaching. Entonces, al verbo, por ejemplo, teach, learn, work, cook, rain, use, pay, study. You have to add the ing form. Le tienen que agregar el ing. El ing. ¿Verdad? Teaching, learning, working, cooking, raining, using, paying, studying. Ahora, pueden escribir en el chat, por favor, ejemplos de usando cada uno de ellos. Hay el cada sujeto, ¿verdad? First person, second person, third person, he, she, it. Y pueden hacer como hice yo, ¿verdad? About your family, your friends, your co-workers, or in general. Okay, very good, Samara. I am learning English. I am learning new vocabulary, that is great. I am studying English, excellent. I am eating an apple, eating. No lleva H, eating an apple, okay? Uh, let's see, what else? You are watching the TV. 
<laughs> okay, there is a difference between wash and washing. Wash is lavar and watch is ver. Watched, watch, watch. Entonces es, I am watching the TV. Ivania, I am, you are playing on the cell phone. <laughs> Ivania, quiero ver, I am working very hard. Excellent, Erika. Vamos a ver, Ivania dice, oh, Miguel, I am drinking coffee. Coffee with double E. My, you are sleepy. That's why you're drinking coffee. I am brother and study. Ivania, no sé si quería poner mi hermano está estudiando. My brother is studying. He's studying. My brother is studying. I am likely more or less. Vaya, entonces, eh, para decir algo que nos gusta, no usamos el verbo, no usamos el presente progresivo. Ese es el presente simple. Entonces, por ejemplo, sería, I, I am eating, no sé qué es el more or less, el more or less, I am eating more or less. Quizás eso quería decir. Más o menos, ok. I am eating more or less. Um, I am writing my English class. I am writing my English class. I am wearing a blouse. You are reading a book. She's writing a letter. Excellent, Karen. He's running on the main street. Very good, Silmara. He's playing soccer. Nice, Ernesto. Ok. You are playing on the cell phone. Good. What examples? I want to see more examples, guys. We still have some time. They are singing in karaoke, okay? My wife is cooking the lunch. My family is having lunch. Excellent. Hi, then. I'm very hungry. <laughs> okay, Erika. Erika, para de hablar de los likes and dislikes, ya vamos a llegar a ese tema, pero no usamos el presente progresivo, ¿verdad? Sino el presente simple. Ya vamos a llegar ahí, ya vamos a llegar ahí. Pero bueno, si lo quiere decir, se lo voy a enseñar cómo se dice. I like my class. O oh, I like my English class. Mm -hmm. We are eating hamburgers in the Santa Hamburguesa. Uh -huh. So you're not in the class. The teacher is watching the chat. Yes, we are studying with the teacher Rocio. Excellent. Excellent example, guys. Very nice. Okay, so please continue writing the examples. Ahora, vamos a ver. Eh, ¿Quién, si, si estamos usando así eh, las sentences, ahora hagamos negative sentences? Solo tenemos que agregar el not after the verb to be. Después del verbo to be, agregamos el not. For example... I am not speaking in Chinese. I am not speaking in Chinese. You are not, okay. <laughs> they aren't watching TV. I am not sleeping, okay. You are not, you are not listening to music right now because you are listening to me. Okay. Let's say <clears throat> Xiomara is not, is not dancing in a party. In this moment, because she's sitting in her office. In this moment. Ahí se me fue la O que el, el, el typing me lo, me, lo, me lo cambió. I'm not paying attention. I hired me, so why not? <laughs> They're just examples. I am nursing. I am not studying. I am not listening to music. Okay, you are not swimming. Yeah, I would like to. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm not doing a spinning right now. Okay, my mom is not sleeping. I am not running, Erika, running. Okay, les voy a dejar una tarea y es que investiguen el spelling. Les voy a escribir homework. Investigate the spelling of ing verbs. She's not eating in the office. You are not sleeping in the office. He's not writing in the chat. She's not eating in the office. Okay. You're not kidding. I'm not kidding. Jose isn't living in San Salvador. And where are you living? <laughs> Okay, and now, if now that you make just no, uh, I'm sorry, negative statements, can we make just no questions? Carlita, happy is not, is not a verb. <laughs> okay, it's just, it's, it's an adjective, happy. I am happy, only that. Tal vez puede decir, I am feeling happy. I see, I am feeling happy, Carlita. My family is not playing the game. We are in traveling. Bye. Ahora vamos a hacer preguntas. Si ya, si aquí para questions is very easy. We have, we have to put the verb to be first. Primero va el verbo to be, luego el sujeto y luego el verbo in the ing form. For example, are you, are you writing or are you typing examples? Are you typing examples? Are you listening? No. Are you looking at the screen? ¿Están viendo la pantalla? Is your best friend calling you? Is it raining right now? Are you doing the homework? <laughs> okay, are you doing the exercise? Okay, Ivania, para decir que mi teléfono se está descargando, se dice, my phone is running out of charge. Mi teléfono se está descargando. My phone is running out of charge. Are you starting in the moment? Igual si el carro se está quedando sin gasolina. My car, como ahorita, ¿verdad? Because the gas is very expensive. My car is running out of gas. Of gasoline. Am I learning? Yes, you are, Ernesto. I don't see the screen. Is he going at the barber shop? No, he isn't. Are you talking? Yes, I am. Are the students playing? No, they aren't. They are studying. <laughs> Very nice, guys. Now I will send you to break the rooms. We still have four. Uh, we have still have ten minutes. And are you eating the dinner? No, <laughs> I am. I, I am not eating my my lunch either. Les voy a enviar a las break rooms to practice the conversation, the previous conversation. ¿Verdad? Esta. Okay, so you can have some practice. Is Xiomara paying attention? Is Xiomara paying attention? I think she's not. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye, chicos. Entonces... <laughs> I will say the <laughs> rooms. Uh -huh. so, Mara, you're not paying attention. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And okay, I will create the groups and please practice with your classmates. Okay. Espérame, espérame, lo puedo volver a hacer. Eight, nine, okay, eight. Okay. And I will send you the conversation. It says, I am, this is your mother. I am paying attention. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs>
Thank you, Xiomara, for sending the, the results. Okay, so there you have the conversation and please practice. You will practice the seasons, the weather, the ING form, the present progressive. Josué Castellón y Samuel está solita. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver qué se les. Very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. They're at the home. Gloves, gloves, Lilian, sorry. <laughs> ah, gloves, gloves. Es que no veo bien. Okay. Hi, Mirna. Aha, Mirna. Hi. Hello. Mirna and Carlita, you have to practice the conversation. Okay. Hi, Wania. Me escucha. Sí, ahora sí. Ahora Vaya, sí. hay que... Ajá, tenemos que practicar la conversación, ¿verdad? ¿Quién sería usted? Eh, sería... Primero. Usted sería Pat. Uh -huh. Karen, Mr. Sánchez. Ay. Ay. Juan Sánchez. Okay. Um, oh. okay. Oh no. Teacher. Yes, Henry. Three. ¿De ese cómo se dice? Tres veces lo repetimos. Ah, ok. Three times. Yes. Three times, three times. Excellent. Very nice. Solo que algunos no han terminado. Some of your classmates have not finished because they always have problems when they enter to the rooms. But can you give me uh, some examples in the chat using whose? 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 Mm -hmm. For example, I, I type in the, in the sentence. Yeah, type the sentence. For example, whose bottle of water is that one? I am of a Whose bottle of water is that one? And the answer is it's me. It's. Ah. 
It's me else. Así, por ejemplo. Ya les voy a pedir a todos que hagan. Uh -huh. Ok, so we go back. Ok. Let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Ok, the other. Okay. Okay, thank you girls for practicing and, and the boys, everybody for practicing. Remember pronunciation is very important. So in the chat uh, to finish or to end the class, we still have three minutes and I want everybody to write is questions and sentences, questions and answers using whose, whose, okay? Using whose. I want you to practice the use of who's. I can see that the present continue. Perfect. But I want you to use who's. Remember who's plus the noun plus the verb to be. Well, plus who's in singular is this. And, and uh, plural are they. Or those. For example, whose mango is this? ¿De quién es este mango? <laughs> it's my mom's. No lo vayan a comer because it's my mom's. Whose shoes are those? They are mine. Whose computer is this? It's yours. Okay, very nice. Continue please writing with who's. And try to write the answers too. Write a question and write the answer. Whose book is it? The teacher's book. No se olviden de poner el it. It is the teacher's book. Whose are whose earrings are those? Así sería, mira. Whose earrings are those? Whose potatoes are whose potatoes are those? Potatoes. Whose earrings are those? Okay, whose cell phone is this? It's Hector. It's Hector's. Whose car is it? Who's not? Sure. Aha, uh -huh. Omar, Omar, looking at Google. Yes? Teacher. Yes? I have a question. Tell me your question. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre who and whose y cómo se usaría? Ah, vaya. Tienes que tratar de la clase. Ok, whose es la contracción de who is. De quién es, who is, que la pregunta es quién es, por ejemplo, who's, who's your best friend, quién es tu mejor amigo, quién es, y who's junto se, significa de quién es, de quién es, se está preguntando el dueño de algo, ¿verdad? Esa es la diferencia. Okay. Who is the quién? And who Thank is you. quién es? Okay, gracias, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, guys, it's 201, so it's time to finish the class. I hope you had a good time in the class today. I hope you learned a lot. Remember the four seasons? A ver, ¿quién me quiere decir the four seasons? Four, six, winter, spring, summer, 
Excellent. Yes. Summer, spring, winter, and fall. Very nice. And in El Salvador, we only have two seasons because it's a tropical country. We have winter. Winter, winter. and summer. And summer. summer. Right now we are in summer. In the summer. That's why it's very winter and summer. It's very country it's very hot it's very hot it's very sunny we need cold drinks okay guys see you tomorrow have a nice afternoon bye, bye. bye, -bye. bye. see you next day see you no see you tomorrow see you tomorrow see you tomorrow, <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.